Sesame Street has always been an amazing program. They do a very thorough job, great programming. But tackling the addiction subject is very hard for kids that are the age Sesame Street appropriate. Mm -hmm. Really hard. It's um, For kids that age, they are very concrete thinkers. Mm -hmm. So it's really what I can see or what I can think. And then also they're just beginning to build their world and really the parents are the outer limit of their security and kids are very healthy if we can provide them with a secure safe background mm -hmm. and this introduces a whole new idea of where's my mom going and they can't understand addiction so it's like what is this next right. level? It, it seems like there... It's worrisome. Right. It, what yeah. I also feel like there could be a lot of confusion and there's it, obviously shame yeah. attached to this. So, like, almost how delicate then does Sesame Street kind of have to approach this in terms of talking about it? I mean, obviously, if the children show, they're going to probably really talk about it in a delicate right. sense, but just in terms of the theme of how it's kind of approached, I think it would a, be A great dicey. way to handle it would be to actually make it a broader topic about all the difficult things that can happen in a family or things that happen to parents as opposed to keeping it on addictions because this doesn't really cover the domestic violence or mental illness or all kinds of other things that would be confusing. Uh, I don't want to, I'm glad they have the courage to jump out and look into that topic, but for that age group, it actually, I think, is more worrisome than helpful. Well, on that Point. Can you explain a little bit more how a child of that age might extrapolate what they do see tackled on a show like Sesame Street and apply it in ways that us as adults obviously wouldn't think of doing, but they jump to conclusions, make assumptions. Just right. Explain well, a little more. Well, one of the, when you look at Carly and, you know, there's a little description of how her mom wasn't feeling well and had to go away for a little while. So for a kid, if you think about that in concrete terms, one, they think, well, where did she go? Mm -hmm. Does she have another home? Does she have a different family? That's one of the first things that'll come into their mind. Is there someone else she loves more than me? Because kids at that age are really all about, everything's focused on, on themselves. Mm -hmm. So that's really worrisome. And as soon as they start thinking about that, they lose their base or foundation of security. And that's tricky. And they don't have to have it. It's not a complicated thought for kids. It's you know, really what's immediate, what's right here. And they are, have no inferential thinking at that stage. So they can't think, oh, well, she's gone now and she'll be back tomorrow. There, There isn't a planning for that.